Testing, testing, one, two, three, test. What is that? Oh, and that. Oh, there's always makeup somewhere on me. This is so annoying. It's fine. It's barely noticeable, right? Hello. Welcome on back to my channel. My name is Spencer and today is an exciting one because as you could probably already tell from the thumbnail and title of this video, I'm going to be testing out many of the products from the brand new makeup line from Mario called Makeup by Mario. I felt like it would only be fitting that I created a very Mario look, doing a beautiful smoky eye, keeping the skin really flawless and pairing everything with a gorgeous nude lip. So if you wanna learn how I created this look right here, then keep on watching. Watching. So to begin, I'm using the Glam Glow Glow Starter Mega Illuminating Moisturizer to prep our model's skin, and I'm applying this on with a beauty blender. This moisturizer has these tiny little reflex in it that really illuminate light, so it'll help in achieving that glowy, hydrated skin look that I'm going for. Once I've applied the moisturizer, I'm gonna move on to foundation. For foundation today, I'm using the Luminous Foundation from Anastasia Beverly Hills, and I'm working this into the skin using the same beauty blender I used prior for the moisturizer. What's nice about this foundation is that it's versatile in terms of coverage. So you can sheer it out if you want something a little bit more natural looking, or you can build it up if you're looking for something a little bit more on the full coverage side. To contour, I'm using the Born This Way Concealer in the shade Chestnut, and I'm applying this using a face brush, working in sections starting from the cheekbone and temple area of the face before I blend that out and move on to another part of the face. What I ended up doing with this concealer was I, um, I toned it down a bit by mixing in a small amount of the foundation. The shade I picked was a tad too warm and dark for our model, so by mixing in some of the foundation, it brings it up a few shades closer to her skin tone. This isn't a look I wanted to do an intense contour with. Our model today, Natalie, is an everyday girl going to her everyday job right after filming this, so I didn't want her looking too crazy with the dramatic contouring and highlighting. I wanted her to look like herself. I wanted everything to look wearable, um, which reminds me to give a huge shout out to Natalie for waking up at the crack of dawn to film this video with me. You, my friend, are a true rock star for this. But nonetheless, after I place the contour in the areas I want to warm up and define, I'm going over everything once more with my beauty blender. I've said it before, when in doubt, blend it out. You can never go wrong with a good blend. And plus, I want everything to look really seamless, so I'm going the extra mile with blending this all in. Next, to conceal and brighten, I'm using the Sensual Skin Enhancer from Kevin Aquan in the shade SX04, and I'm placing this right under the eye. Even though I'm blending this upwards and outwards towards the... <laughs> okay, ooh, that's a tongue twister. Um, let me try that again. Even though I'm... I'm blending this up and out towards the hairline. I didn't place the concealer there with the brush because there was more than enough to work with from the small amount I placed directly underneath the eye. This concealer is pretty thick and extremely pigmented, so a little goes a long way. And now that I think about it, I did tone down this concealer as well with the foundation. This particular shade I used was a little too light for our model, so I mixed in a small amount of the foundation we used on her to tone it down, just like what I I had done with the contour shade. Let me know if this makes sense or not. Next time I'll be sure to get it on camera, me mixing on the back of my hand, so you can kind of get a better idea as to what I'm talking about. But once I've blended out the under eyes, I'm placing the smallest amount of that concealer down the center of the nose along with the cupid's bow and chin.
Here, I'm not adding any product. I'm just taking my Beauty Blender around the whole face again to assure everything is well blended. Next, for blush, I'm actually using a lipstick from Buxom in the shade Influencer, and I'm working this into the cheeks using a fluffy blush brush. I love turning to lipsticks to use as blush. They blend like a dream, they look beautiful on the skin, and they last longer on the skin than a typical powder blush. To set the makeup into place, I'm using the Laura Mercier Translucent Setting Powder, and I'm pressing this powder into the skin with a powder puff, starting from the under eye area. Especially since the concealer we used was so thick, I'm really pressing this powder into this area so nothing moves around throughout the day. And you'll notice, besides the under eyes, I'm not using a whole lot of this powder. I don't want anything caking up or looking too heavy. Okay, the first product from Makeup by Mario that I'll be using today is the Master Eye Prep and Set in the shade Medium. And I'm applying this onto the lids with a Makeup by Mario EF1 brush. I'll link everything down below. But I'm using the top two shades, which is a cream formula first to prime the lids, and then I'm following up with the translucent pressed powder in the palette to lock it into place. Had I thought about it beforehand, I wouldn't have brought up the Kevin Aquan concealer onto the lids, just for the sake of seeing how this product would work on its own. So I'll have to do that next time. But I will say, looking back at this footage now, I do love how smooth the lids look uh, from using this primer and powder that Mario created. Once I have the lid primed, I'm going to move on to brows using the Anastasia Beverly Hills Brow Wiz in the shade Chocolate. I wanted to get the brows out of the way with before we moved on to trying out the other eye products from Makeup by Mario. I'm softly building up this brow, running the pencil back and forth, both in the direction the brow hair grows and against. Natalie already has some pretty great brows, but I just wanted to shape them a bit and fill them in a little. To help out, I'm turning to the grayish brown shadow from the Master Matte Eyeshadow Palette from Makeup by Mario, and I'm using this to set that brow pencil into place and to deepen the shade of the brow. Next, using this shade here from the same Master Matte Palette, I'm going to start building up the eyeshadow. A lot of times for these kind of videos where someone is testing out a new product or doing a review, They'll load up that eyeshadow brush with the eyeshadow and apply it directly to the eye just to test out the pigment payoff, I guess. I don't know, <laughs> but that's not really my style. Also here, I'm just blending in some of that darker grayish brown shade, uh, the one that we first used on the brows. But yeah, as you can see here, I, I dip into the shadow very rarely. For this kind of look, I like slowly building up pigment to get a true wash of color on the lid with different hues and opacity to it. Next, with the Super Black Master Pigment Pro Eyeliner Pencil from Makeup by Mario, I'm running this through the waterline. And as you can see, this pencil literally just glides on, which I'm really happy about because I love a good black eyeliner. But what's really cool about this one is that it has this little brush on the other end of it that helps you smoke out the liner or it helps you fade it outwards to build up a really striking cat eye. I thought the brush was a really cool twist. He put on this classic black liner pencil. With this same pencil, I'm running this on the upper lid as well. Now, because I'm going to end up smoking out this liner, I'm not too worried about getting this liner too precise on the upper lid, uh, which Thank goodness, because my hands are way too shaky for that. And even though I love the look a pencil gives for eyeliner, something about using a liquid pen eyeliner is way easier for me. So we'll be using that in a second as well. 
Heading back to the Master Matte's eyeshadow palette, I've dipped into that dark grayish brown color we've been using and I'm running this through the crease with the EF5 brush. This is kind of a rough placement of where I want to start building that shadow. And as you can see, I'm not dipping into eyeshadow every few seconds. You know what I'm saying? I'm really spending my time blending out the pigment I have on the brush. Yes, I want this to be a dramatic smoky eye, but it, it doesn't mean we, we gotta go in with pitch black eyeliner everywhere. We can still keep it soft. We can get that drama and glam by using minimal amount of product to shape the eye into that very sultry, smoky look. As to promise, I'm using the liquid eyeliner to run on the upper lash line. Not that I'm looking to create anything sharp or precise like a winged liner. This just helps create that really rich, opaque black color right at the lash line. And then everything else is just beautifully diffused and smoked out from there. It's keeping all the depth and the drama right at the eyes, really. Okay, with the Master Crystal Reflector from Makeup by Mario in the shade Quartz, I'm applying this onto the lid with my ring finger. This was definitely one of the products I was most looking forward to, and I'll say I am not disappointed. I love how expensive it makes the eyes look without the shimmer looking overly done, if that makes sense. And here, I'm just baking the jawline with Laura Mercier powder to sharpen up the contour while we wait for the lash glue to dry. I applied the lashes off camera, but in case you wanted to know, the eyelashes I used are in the style Beaming Sun from Raquel Beauty. And next, I'm using this blush from Laura Mercier in the shade Peach to dust onto the cheeks and to reinforce the cream blush we used earlier. Once the lash glue has dried down, I'm using the Hypnosis Mascara from Lancome to run through the eyelashes. It's a must for me to run mascara through lashes after applying the strip lash because it's really just helping the two bind together so you don't see that gap between the fake lashes and your real lashes. It also just makes the lash feel more comfortable and secure. Now that we have the bottom mascara finished, I'm gonna dip into the Master Metallics eyeshadow palette from Makeup by Mario, and I'm specifically dipping into the shade Metallic 8, which is this beautiful golden champagne color, and I'm using this to highlight the high points of Natalie's skin. While I know this palette is intended for the eyes, I just wanted to demonstrate the versatility in the products. And I'm sure if you wet your brush with a setting spray, this eyeshadow would turn out even more blinding, but <laughs> it's six in the morning. We're, we're not going to get too wild with the highlight today. So we've applied that metallic shade to the cheekbones, Cupid's bow, and nose to add back some glow. And now we're going to move on to the lips. What I'm applying here is a mix of the Too Faced concealer we used to contour and the Buxom lipstick we used as a cream blush. I've mixed the two on the back of my hand and I'm applying them to the lips to create a base of color. Like the eyes, I'm building up this lip color, which is why you see me following up with a lip pencil by Morphe and the shade Sweet Tea. Ultimately, I know I usually do a heavier ombre nude lip, but I'm trying to switch it up today for a more wearable everyday nude color lip. Next, I'm using the KKW Beauty Lip Crayon in the shade Classic Kim to finish off this lip. I really love the formula of these lip crayons. They're comfortable to wear, yet they give that creamy, high shine look that I love. And for the very last step, I'm using the Urban Decay All Nighter Setting Spray to set the makeup and to lock everything into place. And that, ladies and gentlemen, is how we transformed our naturally gorgeous model from this into this. I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. If you did, be sure to give this video a big ol' thumbs up and subscribe to the channel. You can also check out more of my work on my Instagram at Painted by Spencer. And until next time, I'll see you soon.